Well, here goes nothing. Gaia. Oh, Gaia. I need to talk to you. There she is. The one and only. Hi. <coughs> okay, let's talk to her. Aloy. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield. But it malfunctioned and blew up. <sighs> if we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. Maybe. Moment, I will scan it. <clears throat> Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced. What? No way. To Zenith technology. <clears throat> but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew <coughs> to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. It's pretty obvious. He's not gonna cooperate with us. <coughs> well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. <clears throat> right. That was a really short Thanks, guy. talk. So I guess we won't be making use of Simon's <clears throat> weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more sub functions to get. <clears throat> I guess that's where we're going. How do I get out of here? This way. The good thing is, we are free to go get the other subordinate functions. Which one are we going to go grab anyways? I don't even know which one I want to grab first. Let me see. Map. I guess... <coughs> I guess Poseidon's next. What is this again? Uh, okay, so that's that. Okay, that's okay. So I guess we're gonna go get Poseidon first. <clears throat> it doesn't seem like it's very far. It's not very far, but at the same time, it, it kind of is. So we have a lot of running to do, unfortunately. Can I call my mount? Let me come over here. There we go. I wonder why it wasn't working before. Yeah. I always forget how to use this, by the way. <clears throat> These things are only good if you're gonna stay on the road, which I guess I might as well do, right? <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not worried about any of you right now. Right now, I just kind of want to get to my destination. See what I mean? This thing gets stuck on everything. Riding the mounts is really annoying in this game. Run! <clears throat> I got caught. Don't mind me. Oh god. That was scary. <clears throat> Ooh, that is not good. We got some chickens. Please let me come here undisturbed. There we go. Run! I don't want to fight the chickens. <coughs> well, that's that's nice. 
God, I hate this thing. It's faster than me in so many, like, just in flat out speed. But at the same time, I feel like it slows me down. <coughs> What's chasing me? This thing's gonna freaking get me killed, I swear. Run, damn it! I'm gonna die. Because the stupid mount doesn't want to run. Whoever, whoever thought that this was a good mechanic should be fired. Not really. But still. <coughs> God, man, this thing is gonna ki get me killed. I need some medicinal stuff. I really don't want to be on this thing. It's gonna, it's gonna get me killed. <sighs> I'd rather just run, honestly. How far am I? Not that far. Hey, I thought I saw that. We're in the desert for sure now. Another rebel outpost. I need to take out the leader. <coughs> nope. Right now, I need to get my happy butt over to Poseidon. <sighs> While simultaneously getting all these medicinal berries. So I can be very well off. This must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Poseidon shouldn't be far. Okay, so that's... Control. I need to be careful. Ready for anything, now? Don't see me. <clears throat> Gliding, I think, might be faster than running, but I don't know. It kind of feels like it sometimes. <clears throat> We've got to be close. We're literally there. <clears throat> Please don't be any enemies around here. I just want to get in there. <clears throat> I do want to get this uh, campfire, though. It says campfire discovered. There it is. Let me quick save while I'm here. <coughs> Who are we getting now? We're getting uh Poseidon. This is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. A lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. You don't say. That's true. I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. <laughs> you know, I find it interesting too that we're getting Poseidon, but Poseidon's in the middle of the desert, seen as Poseidon is the the god of the sea or something like that. The entrance has to be around here somewhere. Hey, medicinal berries. <coughs> <clears throat> it's got to be around here somewhere. What is this thing? Can I not break it? What is this? Good to know. Whatever it is I'm looking for is somewhere in this area, but my god, this place is huge. <coughs> Got another campfire. <coughs> How? 
How big is this freaking circle? My god. <clears throat> this has to be it, right? I was right. <coughs> down there. I just need to find a way in. It's some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data. But how to get up there? Water's pouring out of that building. Are to it? Where? I better check it out. Oh. I kind of want to find out what's inside. Uh. <clears throat> about this drone. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, that was an accident. But it worked. I am not. It is hot. Maybe I can climb something. I'm not gonna. I don't want to chase it. It's probably one of the side collectible things, anyways. At least that's what I'm assuming. If I'm wrong, definitely let me know down in the comment section down below. But I don't know. So many campfires around here. Whatever it is I'm looking for is up. <clears throat> Camping here. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. <clears throat> Ooh. Got some purple stuff. going on here I was out of I was so close to drowning maybe not not to the embers more it's over well not for me it's not then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse we're through. They gave up. So the visionary's fate <coughs> hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spearmate. Yeah, okay. Um <coughs> Well, you're not typical delvers. That's for sure. <coughs> What's this? Uh, I I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark 1. The Mark 2 was better, but uh it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah. I expect a layperson to understand. That's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you? You got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. <laughs> Stranger. You got a name? Hey, Lloyd. Moreland. Not stranger anymore. Not stranger anymore. Ha, <laughs> what'd I say? You're a damn fool. <clears throat> Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. <sighs> well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? <laughs> so much for these other guys. Uh, why are you here? What's so important down there that you risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. 
<clears throat> told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or me. I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, 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 with a proper spark, these <coughs> magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. Gra uh, embers? <coughs> so these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it a <coughs> hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? It broke. Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below. <coughs> as you'll see, if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. Uh, your grandfather? How did your grandfather discover <coughs> these embers? He was here. 40 odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. <coughs> he discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. He took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but well, he never scraped up <coughs> the shreds. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show. One unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. Perhaps. He's a true Delver. When a true <laughs> showman. And I miss him. Aw. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. Uh, what happened? So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, <coughs> not so easy. That... Right, again. What happened? Stay on track. We beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games and coins and promises of jackpots. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's gotta be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. Strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Who? Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. Explosion of water? So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, <laughs> not stirred, I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. <clears throat> maybe you can. Uh, your friends? You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like 
performers? You're not Obviously. And thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks. <coughs> Abaddund, he, well... Complains? Hey, he <laughs> the money, which amounts to about the same thing. <coughs> when we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. <coughs> okay. Can't I swim down? How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. <laughs> Fucking liquid depths. I would say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. Okay. Well, enough of that. I'll get the parts. I better get into <coughs> those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule on the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. <coughs> Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. I think I'm gonna go grab from the herd first. According to Moreland, the herd should be south of here. <coughs> Let me see how far it is. It's literally just there. And then I'll finish up with di uh, diving down the thing or whatever. There goes that thing again. Don't worry about me, I don't care. There's a lot of campfires in this area. I wonder why. Thank you, thank you, I needed that. <coughs> I need to keep collecting until it says that it's going into my, uh, my stash. This is where Moreland said the herd would be. <coughs> They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. There. <coughs> tracks should lead me to the herd. Hopefully. Alright, so it's going in this, this direction. Be where the herd left from. I better follow the tracks in the other direction. So this is where it started. That means I gotta go the opposite direction. Obviously, that's what she said. I hope they didn't get too far. <clears throat> Cause I don't wanna go, I don't wanna run a million miles. Do I need sticks? Uh, I, I guess so. Should have the parts I need. Ooh. Okay. How do I do this? They got a flying bird too. My God, dude, this is gonna be horrible. Deal with them first. <laughs> Kill the machine herd. I gotcha! Nobody saw me, right? Bam, bro! I freaking destroyed that guy! <sighs> oh, this guy's suspicious of me. He sees the dead guy and he's like, oh! Got a track! Nice. So it looks like we potentially have one more, but I need to figure out how to get to them.
quietly get into this bush. <coughs> I hope he actually comes over here, because that'd be excellent. <coughs> He's coming. Oh, crap. Here comes the bird, too. I don't know how I'm going to get the bird. <coughs> I think I'm going to have to 1v1 him. He can't see me, can he? <laughs> Perfect. I don't see another option, man. I'm gonna have to... Blast that bird somehow. Uh, weak versus... The storm's whipped up a sand spiral. Great. <clears throat> Come on, baby. No. Hit him in the freaking gut. What are you doing? Was that it? He's dead already? Okay. <coughs> Got them all. Now where did the herd go? Wait, he's that wasn't it? <coughs> I see tracks here. Okay, there it is. Yeah, but well, I thought they would have went that way, but I guess not. Might as well pop that be full. I hope I don't get sucked up into no spiral or whatever they called it. <coughs> Where are you taking me? How many can I hold in my inventory? <clears throat> bah. Skin stains from all the sand. Ooh. <coughs> oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad if he can if he finds me. Okay. Please go away. I want to take out some of the lightweights on the outside first before I take out He's going away. It's my time to shine. I need to take out homeboy. Oh no, the gigantic thing is coming in this direction. I need him to go away. So I can take out this chicken, hopefully, first. God, that was horrible. <sighs> he 
got me. One of those is crap. I'm so screwed. How I juke that. <clears throat> I got to run. Get away from me, you freaking chicken! <sighs> Please don't see me. Screw it! One of the chickens are down. I need to find another hiding spot. Run away! <clears throat> it's not time for gathering, Aloy. Run. <clears throat> okay. If I silent strike this one, this guy right here right in front of me, I think I could off him because I kind of weakened him pretty badly. That was a horrible display of stealth. Yeah, I think I could off him. Except I kind of have to play it safe right now. There's a lot of medicinal stuff here. That I absolutely need. Okay, I need to find a way to get to the chicken. <laughs> The other one that on the far side is still looking for me. <sighs> Keep looking in that direction. This guy is so dead. All he needs is a silent strike. <coughs> I'm not doing this again, so... I'm gonna wait for him to come all the way around. There he is. Good. You don't see nothing. I could 1v1 that guy, no problem, maybe. But I need to off this guy first. <coughs> Honestly, I think that tornado hurts them. What is this guy doing though? He's gonna make me get caught because he's bugging out. It's like he's running away from me. Ooh, yikes. <sighs> yeah, big dudes, big dudes on me.
Low-key, I'm a little scared. <coughs> Go away, big guy. Okay, there he goes. What is this guy doing? He's like a kangaroo. <laughs> I got an idea. If I track him... Well, he's a weenie anyways. I don't think he wants to fight me, does he? Screw it. Oh, snap. <laughs> I think I got him. Honestly, I don't even think he sees me. That hurt. He definitely doesn't see me. See you later, turkey. <sighs> I kind of feel bad because this guy really isn't even fighting. He's like a gigantic turkey. <sighs> You're done, Do you understand me? He's done so. One synthetic membrane. Okay, that takes care of the machine parts. Just gotta grab the compressed air capsule from there and start it. Nice. I can keep going. <coughs> We're golden. Wait, medicinal? Definitely need to grab as many of those as possible because let's be real here. I'm always short. So we're full there and we still have six. So everything else is just going to go into our inventory. So that's good. Is that it? That's not it, is it? <clears throat> it's got to be it. It is it. Hurry up and climb, Aloy. We got business to take care of. So now we gotta dive. Come on. Climb, Aloy, climb! Oh god. Oh, that was close. I thought we were finally going to get away from this. <laughs> well, I should have thing that Aloy showed up. Thing now. We'll see. Get back the longer their sojourn in the desert, <coughs> the crustier the shard counter's move became. Okay, yeah, whatever. Talk to me. What can I do for you, partner? I got everything we need. Uh, I've got the parts. I've got everything I need to build the, uh... The incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. 
Workbench is all yours. Nice. Use workbench. Uh, special gear. Diving mask. Nice. <coughs> Whoa. There's a marvel. <sighs> if it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? Magic. It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. Oh, we were detected. Like I said, the <coughs> lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, <coughs> a flash of red? A red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. A warning. Thanks. <coughs> that might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Thanks, my friend. You're a lot of help. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. Oh, so good. I can actually break down here. Where am I supposed to go? <clears throat> At this point, I'm just literally going down because I don't know where I'm going. I'm assuming it's towards the purple. The mask seems to be holding up. <laughs> How in the hell is she talking? My god, this looks beautiful. She swims so slow, though. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I wish I knew if it was up or down. It's probably down, isn't it? It is. This looks like an old school like movie theater almost, doesn't it? How do I fight that? If that thing finds me, it's it's death for sure, by the way. I can't hide from it. Where are you going? <sighs> Low key, I'm terrified. I think I see the entrance. It's down there. <coughs> How? I can't even go this way. There's a, like a really hard draft. Maybe I go up? <sighs> it 
It's not working. Huh. Find the red light. It's gotta be this right here. <coughs> Swim faster, Aloy. There. Red light. <coughs> Activate? Okay. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. South. <sighs> well, at least it's telling me exactly where to go, so. We're golden there. Find the primary pump node. <coughs> Apparently, we're gonna one v one the guy. Should lead me to the pump node. More machines down here. I'm gonna swim around them. Stick to cover. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. Okay, that was that was close. I didn't even see the beasts. Wait, medicinal stuff? Down here? I'll take it. <sighs> okay, so it's not down here. <coughs> Oh, it's right here. I see it. Climb, 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 climb. What can I climb? I don't see anything I can climb. And I can't jump or anything, so I'm kind of screwed in that department. Hmm. grab this real quick I legitimately do not see a thing. <sighs> it's so close yet so far. Cause she did say there's gotta be something I could climb, right? Maybe I gotta go a different direction. <sighs> I mean, I don't see a, another direction. 
Fire Gleam. That's the valve. What's this? The primer load shut down now. I think the last time I was down here was during the Lumiogram incident. A malfunction led to an overflow of detergent in the pipes. Suds rose from every fountain. As we frantically tried to fix it. <coughs> I looked up and saw everyone in the lobby chasing bubbles the size of basketballs. <coughs> Young and old alike. Another magical moment in the impossible city. I don't see anything. And going up there is literally where the beasts were, weren't they? It is. So it definitely has to be down here. <sighs> no, you know what? It's got to be a different direction. It's gotta be, and then I'm probably gonna need to use the fire gleam to go down into that section. <clears throat> Is there another pipe anywhere around here? I don't see another pipe though. <coughs> Maybe in this direction, perhaps? Huh. <coughs> what am I missing? I'm certain, man. I'm certain there's a a second pipe somewhere. <sighs> Cuz that other way didn't have anything for me. And then this way it just doesn't it just doesn't seem like there's anything over here. <coughs> hmm. Well, I guess let's go back down the only pipe I found. Uh-oh. Okay. Maybe if we look around in here, we'll probably find something. <sighs> the one time I want Aloy to say something. Is the one time she's not saying a word. Hmm. 
Because I can't aim or do anything. Wait, 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 I found it. <sighs> that took way too much time. Might as well. I just want to see what's in here. Ooh, purple. <coughs> well, we got the first one. <sighs> one note down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Back towards the big thing. So now we're looking for the second one. <coughs> that thing is enormous. Okay, we're golden. I didn't see this last time. It's very well hidden. It's looking around for some loot, but there was nothing down there. At least not nothing that I saw, at least. <sighs> it's gotta be the same strategy. Yeah, there it is. Get up there, Aloy. We got business to take care of. Keeps an extra on hand. I don't I don't wanna play it, but I'll just grab it anyways. Fernarnia I thought I missed. Very nice. That should be it, right? It was only two? Don't worry, I got the magic stick. Let's see if that it did. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I've taken care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge at the main station. So we're going back to that same terminal that we were at last time, right? Or the first one, I mean. <sighs> no, it's a different location for sure. <coughs> you don't see nothing. This actually, f you know, normally when you have like underwater levels, they're usually kind of crappy. This actually is not that bad. Over here, maybe? Looks like part of this building collapsed. Someone might be away in. Haha! -ha. It seems suspicious, and it looks like I found out where it's at. It's <coughs> Console to activate the emergency purge. Easy enough. Well, that was weird. Hey, purple. I'm getting a lot of purples down down here. It was an eyeball. We've got plenty of those. <coughs> Come
Come on, Aloy, get up there. <sighs> up here, maybe. It's definitely up here. Whoa, it's a flying car. How do I do I uh stairs? I have no idea what just happened. No oh, wait. Okay, there's nothing here. There's a data point. Wait, there's also This is not that deep, Aloy. Why are you swimming? You can literally walk. <sighs> but alright, whatever. This is, is this where we came from? Kinda seems like- yeah, this is where we found that purple thing. <clears throat> We're gonna have to fight that gigantic thing now. Find Poseidon. Or do we have to fight him or could we just sneak right by him? How do I hide from them? I'm not 100% sure to be honest. I think my best bet is just to keep running. Freaking idiot. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, was this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. It's an orca. Okay. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. <laughs> Coward. It's okay, he's just a finance guy. Did nothing. Ah! That's not good. Get up, Aloy. She takes forever to get up, dude. It's so annoying. Get 
off! <sighs> what was that? Come on! Get out of the freaking water, Aloy. Hurry up. <sighs> Squirtle is pissing me off. Why can't I hit that damn thing? I gotta run. <sighs> I don't know. What are you doing? My god, this game really irritates me sometimes. Does that thing freaking take? <sighs> Imagine fighting this underwater. Come on. I'm not going to do this. I'm dead. How do I do this one? Blasting thing worked.
Come this way, buddy. It didn't freaking work. Run! I really hate how long it takes her for get to get up. Ah! Uh. The audio's all messed up. Run! <laughs> I need to find an opening to put this down. That was not a good opening. Oh, I guess it was. I don't have any more. Oh, I got I got an acid trap. <sighs> Come here, buddy. Ow. Hey! I won? Holy crap. <coughs> Thank God for those bombs. Come on, gentlemen, get a move on. <coughs> <sighs> Damn, she's really coughing up a storm. She sounds like me right now. Talk to me, buddy. You guys all right? More than all right. This you we did it. <laughs> all the embers we could ever want and it's all thanks to you very uh heartwarming but maybe we can just you know grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up now now shard counter nothing wrong with a little <laughs> though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going i believe she has business down here is she not? Right. Of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. <coughs> Very well. well. We'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. She's starting to finally open up a little bit. <coughs> well, here goes nothing. Sliding should be somewhere beyond this door. Hopefully we don't have to fight anybody else. <clears throat> Nothing. After all that, I deserve a fantastic chest. Okay. Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of office. I need to find a console to gain access to it. <coughs> Uh, there we go. I'm not gonna play it though. There, I should be able to use that console. Before I do, I gotta loot just in case. So many metal eyes. I'm here to bring you home, besides <sighs> to Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. 
Restoring the sign and subordinate function to original code. We did it! Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. I should just try to fast travel, right? Uh, I guess I have to get out of here first. <sighs> At least we got it already. Looks like taking Poseidon trigger to restart the city's power system. Does that mean we're gonna drown again? Worm and crew must have headed back up top. <coughs> Dude, I need so many freaking medicinal berries. Gimme, 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 gimme. What is that sound? <laughs> hey, here goes some more. I need all the ones I could get at this point because I'm low. That was an intense battle that I succumbed. This has to be some sort of a shopping mall. Or something. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. It kind of feels like I am, but I don't, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe. This way? Some stairs right here. I have no idea what just happened there, but okay. <sighs> Perfect. There's another one right there. Is this medicinal berries? Please. Well, it's a chest. Which is always welcome. Turn. Mon must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Be nice not to have to climb back up. It's true. <coughs> I should be able to fast travel once I'm out of here, right? I hope so. I mean, there's there's campfires everywhere in this area anyway, so I should be fine. Oh, I was uh, a little concerned for a second. Whatever she did, it must have what a <sighs> <sighs> hey, Las Vegas. Oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. It's beautiful. Gramps legacy ensured our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the <coughs> end of the child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. What well, did you find what you were looking for? <coughs> I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. <coughs> Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> They're making Vegas all over again. I am 
I hope you make it happen. <coughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I like this version of Aloy. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. I love it. I love it. For real. If Morland and Claire's <coughs> gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, maybe I should. Maybe I back to Gaia. But I might want to find that Osiron camp first. See if Talana made it. And with my new diving mask, I should be able to swim as deep as I want to. Once I <coughs> place with more water. First things first, I gotta turn this back into Gaia. Uh, fast travel. All the way back here. <coughs> so many things we gotta do. Well, now we only have one more sub thing left, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta jump up. <coughs> Bam! Just like that. <sighs> Back at the base. She's gonna be ecstatic. Gaia! Oh, Gaia! I got something for you. Let me in! Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. I did. Be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. I mean, do I have to go through all the rooms? I don't really want to. <sighs> there hasn't been anything interesting. What is what quest am I on? Uh active talk to Varl. <sighs> what you need, Var Varl? Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Oh. Daddy sure does love his life, <sighs> She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. <coughs> Daddy sure does love his little big... But there was something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus. We're studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, <coughs> just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her. <sighs> like he's proving that. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, <clears throat> one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, <coughs> Tilda was waiting for me. In a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. <coughs> she showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. <coughs> minutes later. That's weird. It stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda a while back. I think she knew Elizabeth Sobek. 
Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Uh, Tilda. What else can you tell us about her? <laughs> she liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. Hmm. But I think back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, <coughs> and that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. Uh, data channel? You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another <laughs> When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. Interesting. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away. Alone. Hmm. Tilda sounds like it might be uh, an asset. The house. <clears throat> so this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. <coughs> I never wanted to leave. <coughs> I feel bad for her. Paintings and files? You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. <coughs> my favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Huh. Any information about them was redacted. Well, that's no help. Uh, she cut you off? <coughs> so Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! Okay, I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. Relax! When I met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. <sighs> Let's leave it at that, then. She's very sensitive. I don't blame her. What's wrong? Okay. I'm trying, Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. She's got a point. You seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. <laughs> I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about it. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. 
but I don't have time to think about that now. It's daddy -o. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows <coughs> a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. You don't have to. You have a rebreather now. Alrighty then. So I guess now it's uh we go get the last one. We literally got one more to go. <clears throat> then we got all the ones we need. <coughs> so let's go handle some business, baby.